Alderman Woods? Here. Alderman Lazara? Here. Alderman Winger? Here. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Here. Alderman Szymarski? Here. Alderman Shockey? He, Alder he's, he's, he's out right now. He's in the restroom. restroom. Alderman Coles? Here. Alderman Roy Wesley? I declare a quorum. Next item is a re, um, approval of minutes dated February 28, 2013. I make that motion. Second. And there is a second. Anything on the question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, next item is report and recommendation on the front street, uh, front street fast aid renovation program. Uh, Mr. Forrest, will you take us through? Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, as we touched on a few weeks ago in the budget process, uh, we, we found that we need to spend some additional funding or allocate some additional funding towards the front street architectural plans uh, because we do need the services of a structural engineer. Initially, when we got the bids for the project, we were hoping that the architects uh, would be able to take care of any minor structural modifications that would be needed to do the project. As they dug deeper into it and were able to do some additional testing of the existing conditions out there, uh, the architects did decide that we're going to need a structural engineer to prepare some plans, uh, you know, to do this project. Um, so we had initially a not to exceed amount uh, in agreement with the architect of 10,600. I've talked to the architect last week. They are below that at this point. Uh, they've contacted several structural engineers and the prices were either too high or the engineers were unable to do it. And we did finally find one who is uh, qualified. He's able to do it. His fee is uh, $5,000, you know, to complete the plans. So we do need to allocate staffs requesting an additional $3,400 allocation uh, towards this project to get these structural plans completed so that we can finish the uh, cost estimates for the project so we can move it forward. Right now the plans are with an independent contractor who is working on doing the bid, but he's kind of reached a stopping point until we can get some structural plans to him. So that would be our request. Thank you. I'm going to make a motion look for a second, then I can call on any questions. Second. So I do make that motion um, to approve the 3400. There is a second. Anything on the question? Anything on the question? Alderman Eugene Wesley. I have, what, what account is this coming out of? Where's the money coming for this addition? Yes, we're in fun. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Opposed. One, uh, one opposition, motion carries. Uh, next item, items to be considered at future meetings. Any items? Nothing else. Sure. Alderman Lazara. I've been taking a walk past um, the uh, the buildings that um, are on Potter and also border the uh, the railroad. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up right now is because of the uh, the money that we're spending on the facade program. We're just back there taking some pictures, and maybe after the meeting, I'll I'll pass them around to some of the other aldermen. Um, that is our gateway. Once you pass 83 and you're going west and you look into um, uh, some of the backyards of these uh, small factories or small industrial buildings back there, um, it's a mess. And I know um, I've been talking to Joe Johnson about it and he said he would like to give me a, a tour of it. And I think that uh, everybody up on this council should probably go take a tour of it. It's a disgrace to our city. Um, it's something has to be done and, and done immediately. For us to be making all these plans and spending all these dollars that we're spending on developing um, and beautifying our city, if I didn't know Wooddale and I was coming by, I, I would think that, uh, that I'm in the ghetto or something. It, it's really that bad. Um, so for future meetings, I sure would like to see us clean up Potter Street. Um, again, I, I recommend anybody on the city council to go take a walk back there. And uh, it's a disgrace to our city. And uh, I'm going on record of saying this, and any owners that uh, might see this, uh, they could call me and talk to me in regards to this. 
because something has to be done. Thank you. I was reviewing the pictures just now with Alderman Lazara, and it does look pretty extensive. Um, so, so is this a matter uh, it, at a future meeting? What would be discussed? Would it be a uh, enforcement program, or you know, is it just one or two offenders? W where do you see us going with this, Mr. Force? Probably the biggest problem we have on Potter Street is the fact that it remains zoned manufacturing. So the uses that are in those buildings are allowable. Uh, there are no requirements because they back up to the railroad tracks and then they back up to other properties that are also zoned industrial. Mm -hmm. uh, the regulations requiring screening, fencing are, you know, different than if they backed up to, re say, a residential district. I mean, we can require somebody to put up a eight foot high fence or a 10 foot high fence, but still when you're on the train, you're gonna need a 30 foot high fence to screen that. Uh, that area has been an enforcement problem since forever, since before I started working here. Uh, you know, we kind of go through cycles with the owners there. They clean it up a little bit. Last year we had the owners clean up the properties uh, because Metro was working on their drainage ditch. I talked to Joe Johnson after you talked to Alderman Lazara, and he showed me some photos of one of the businesses there who have pretty much got their junk spread all over the place mm -hmm. again. So he did go out there, uh, you know, gave them a compliance time of the end of next week before he starts issuing citations. But it's just, uh, it's a constant struggle over there. And probably the most effective thing we could do would be to rezone the area and slowly let those businesses phase themselves out of there. Uh -huh. It, it, and then in terms of like the enforcement, you know, the, the tires that are laying there, like those kinds of things are the things that we can ask them to. Correct. To clean up or toss or, or that sort of thing. Yes. And what's in the ditch. Or and those are the things, yeah, it, it's you. just, it's a constant battle with those property owners. I mean, we give them compliance times. We've issued countless citations. It's a long there. And they'll be in compliance for a short time and it just slowly they fall into bad habits again. So it's a tough one. But yeah, we can uh, definitely come up with a plan for uh, some targeted enforcement and step up enforcement there. I think uh, uh, since the council approved that additional staff member for us, that's gonna free up Joe Johnson to make a little more time trying to gain some compliance on those properties than he might have right now to dedicate to that, so. I'm gonna first uh, go back to Alderman Lazara, then I'll, uh, let uh, Alderman Wesley, if he has any. It, given that, do you believe we should have a discussion on it, whether we want to do some rezoning, or, or, or do you believe some enforcement, and then let's see where we are to have a discussion? Uh, I heard that we tried to rezone this before. Is that accurate? Uh, twice, yes. Staff has recommended rezoning that area. And, and what happened? It just never came to fruition. Mm. Through the council doing or through? As I recall, the last time was, uh, I think when we were talking, when we were working on doing the unified development ordinance, which was the switch from our old zoning ordinance to the code, it's in effect now. So that probably would have been about uh, three years ago. That we tried three years ago? Yeah, it just didn't. Well, I, I think if, if we can't enforce it, then I think uh, maybe we should try to rezone it because that's a gateway to our community and spending whatever money we're gonna spend on a facade so you can see how pretty mm -hmm. our town looks when you're sitting on the train. And then when you leave the railroad station and you look out the window and you go, really? I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it, it does not justify our city. Um, and, and if we can't clean it up, then we might as well stop spending money on trying to make our city look nice. Because I don't know how many people pass through that railroad st that, that, uh, train every day um, but it, it does not represent our city very well. So uh, to me, something has to be done. And if we can't get this to be um, enforced, uh, then the next thing we'll have to do is, is, is see if we can rezone this, because it has to be cleaned up. Uh, given that discussion, uh, yeah, it, I would say let's move forward and try and uh, enforce. And also, let's have a preliminary discussion where, Mr. Forrest, you're not doing any real extensive work 
you know, making a proposed rezoning, but maybe some information that you presented three years ago or what have you, and that's kind of a preliminary discussion as a council to, to see if we want to move forward um, with looking at rezoning, and, and, and then perhaps we could take it from there. Do you have anything? No, I'll wait till we have a discussion. Okay. Uh, Alderman Coles. Maybe we could get the owners of the businesses to come in here yeah. and really uh, put them against the, you know, a little pressure against them and maybe they'll clean it up. Otherwise, they, and when they hear that we're going to rezone it, you know, they may, they may change their mind because they got businesses there and we hate to have businesses go out of the city, right. but we still should, they still, still shouldn't live like uh, sort of bums, you know, by throwing stuff and garbage out there. And maybe we could uh, uh, get some of the owners to come in here and explain it to, explain it to them that what we're going to do to them. And maybe they'll change their mind. Might be a good idea. Send them letters. Thank you. Sure. Then I'm going to go ahead and make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Um, anything on the question? Uh, we're adjourned. Did she adjourn? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. Call to order the uh, March 28th meeting of the Finance and Administration Committee. Uh, would the roll taker please show the same people are here. Uh, first is an approval of the minutes of the March 14th, 2013. Do I have a motion? I'll motion it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, anybody opposed? Motion carries. Just one item tonight, a report and recommendation on the code amendment for Stormwater Management Commission ex officio non-voting member of the commission. Um, is this the only commission that uh, is restricted as to who can be appointed to it? Mr. Manager. Having not read the whole code uh, in its entirety lately, um, I'm having not read the whole code in its entirety lately, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. I know that for sure this one does, so I'd have to go back and check the whole code. I, I can't speak to that tonight. We might want to check them all to make sure that they're available. So I'll make a motion to amend the Stormwater Management Commission ex officio non-voting member of the commission to be anybody on the council. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions? Alderman Woods. Jeff, do you have any idea why we had that as an ordinance? What, what the purpose behind it was, maybe? Mr. Manager? I think because those two committee chairmen were probably closest related to the topic at hand of that commission, um, and way back when, when the commission was formed, um, that was the decision that was made. I think this code uh, hadn't been altered since 70 something, so it's been in place for quite some time. So those two committee chairmen were the closest related, obviously more so than a finance committee chairman, but because of scheduling or whatever, it seems more reasonable to have the whole council available to be the liaison or ex officio than just limit it to two. But can't we just change other parts of the schedule around? I mean, that was my under, that was my thought process. That you know, the closer causal link between the committees, and is there any fear of losing that or or, or making it less relevant by changing it to anybody that's maybe not interested? Mr. One of the other problems that uh, we could encounter is that a, let's say the public works chairman or the public health and safety chairman is involved in a couple of other committees additionally. They might not have the re time resources um, at hand, family matters or whatever. And if we're restricted to just those two members and they're on other committees or family constraints, um, it's really not a timing of a meeting thing. If they're overburdened with other committees, then they're overburdened. But wouldn't that be the case with anybody? I mean, that's up here could take on too many committees. That's what I'm saying. If you're on, 
at a certain point, you know that you can't take on another committee. At least I would hope so. Two out of eight uh, odds are not so good compared to eight out of eight. So, But you're only working one side of the equation. But that was all. Thanks. I think that the first consideration should be if the individual alderman wants to be the liaison or ex officio between that committee and the council and then the mayor makes his a choice as to which one but I'm sure the mayor would consider who if somebody does want it so I'll any other questions on the motion I'll call the motion then Alderman Woods? No. Alderman Lazaro? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? No. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Roy Wesley? Yes. Items to be considered at future meetings? Just a residential franchise agreement. That'll be in April. Does anybody have anything else? Mr. Manager or any of the aldermen. If not, I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting of the Finance and Administration Committee. Second. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And motion carries. Um, call the Public Works Committee order, make the minute taker, same people are present, and Alderman Roy Wesley is now here. I need a motion to approve the minutes of March 14, 2013. That is my motion. Second. Questions? Concerns? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four, report and recommendation and pay parcel one, Thornton Electric Company for the Salt Creek or many light project in the not to exceed amount of $26,663.85. I will make that into a motion. Second. Questions? Question? Alderman Coles. When are they going to be done with that? I was. Go ahead. Skelts. Just curious. Um, some modifications were required to the poll to facilitate some outlets that will permit. Christmas decorations, so that has caused a bit of a delay. What they've told me is that within the next 30 days, they believe all those poles should be in place. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. When those poles arrived, they did not have outlets on the top to put on the Christmas decoration. So whoever ordered those poles might have made a mistake or the contractor. So are they are the outlets in now? And when will they start that? Uh, as I was told by Monday after they had that decision. Okay. So that is a motion. They did part of it already. So, any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Polls? Motion carries. Report and recommendation and pay request partial Maximo Construction Corporation, a North, North Wastewater Treatment Plant upgrade phase one project. Not to exceed the amount of seven hundred thirty-eight thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars and sixty-five cents. That is my motion. Second. There's a second. Questions, concerns. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, item number six and number seven. I'm asking that that be tabled till uh, council meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight, report and recommendation contract award to Toronto Associates in the amount of two, uh, for the 2013 Street Infrastructure Improvement Project in the amount of $672,661.50. That is my motion. Second. Questions? Concerns? Do a roll call vote on that, please. 
Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Lazara? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Szymarski? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Roy Wesley? Yes. Item to consider future meetings. Um, the only item that I would ask that be put on the agenda is that we give the council an update on the treatment plan, how the construction project's going on that, and what our time plan is to complete the phase one. Uh, they did have a contract award, uh, opening for the second phase, and that will be coming forward, I believe, next committee meeting of who that may be. Um, I also will ask that the soft dome or soft situation be discussed in April and what the situation is that and proposal for that. Uh, any other items? Mr. Smarky. I'd like to have uh, staff look into seeing how much it would run to see if we can get uh, two additional lights on Itasca Street between the streets of Spruce and Edgewood and Edgewood and uh, Central. See how we can uh, we can become that or, or if we're able to do it and have it in-house. Alderman Smarski, are you referring to street street lights? Yes. Street lights. Okay. Those two street, those two streets there are very long in Ward Four, and they have no intersecting streets. So, we you can ask the chief police. He's also said that we've had inc incidences down there because it's pretty dark. So. Well, let Jeff go. Uh, typically for the city installation of lights there's a survey that's passed out we can get you that survey sure. form and then we do allocate money in the budget for this very reason so it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever so okay. we can get the paperwork started yeah thank you yeah. any other questions added on the agenda i will attain a motion to adjourn second all in favor aye, aye. aye. motion carries thank you